Have you ever compared yourself to someone else? Or compared your circumstances to somebody else's circumstances? Or if you're in ministry like me, maybe you've compared your ministry to someone else's. You know, Jesus says there's a very real danger in doing that. One time Jesus was talking with Peter, and he took the opportunity to show Peter that Peter was actually going to die as a martyr, that he was going to be crucified. Jesus told him that when he was old, he would stretch out his hands, and someone else would dress him and carry him where he did not want to go. And the Bible says in John 21, verse 19, that this Jesus said to show by what kind of death Peter was to glorify God. And after saying this, Jesus said to Peter, follow me. Now, those would have been tough words to hear for Peter to realize that he was going to be martyred for his faith. But Jesus said, nonetheless, follow me. What we notice is in the very next verse, John 21, verse 20, Peter turned and he saw the disciple whom Jesus loved, which is John, following them. And when he saw John, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about this man? In other words, Peter's just been told what kind of death he's going to suffer to glorify God. And then he looks at John and asks Jesus, well, what about him? You can kind of feel what Peter was feeling. He was probably thinking, is he going to have to die in that way? And Jesus comes right back at Peter and, and he says this, Peter, if it's my will that John remains until I come, what is that to you? You follow me. In other words, if John doesn't have to die a martyr's death, if he lives a long life, if he's still alive when I return, what is that to you? You follow me. God has stricken me with those words so often. When I'm tempted, especially in a difficult situation, you see, Peter was finding out something very difficult that he was going to go through. And you would think, oh, well, you know, Jesus is going to have sympathy on him and allow him to then compare himself to other people because he's feeling bad about it. No, Jesus does not. Jesus redirects Peter and says, look, I don't want you thinking about anybody else's circumstances. The bottom line is keep your eyes on me and follow me. I'm going to do with your life exactly what I know is best for your life in order for it to glorify God. So keep following me, Peter. Don't look at anybody else. Same with us. Keep looking to Jesus. Don't compare.